Welcome back to Southern Blessed Homestead after the storm review. The greenhouse stayed put. We missed the bad heavy part of the storm. It went south of us and north of us and just kind of went around us. We did get a lot of rain which these water lily type things are enjoying. It's full of water. I'm sure by the buckets that I have around we probably got at least six inches or more. I don't know. We had gallon buckets sitting around and they're full. But the greenhouse did fine. And so now I'll just do a little stroll around our place and show you some stuff and after the storm. Here's my snowball bush. Still green. Kind of live in a little valley where things don't green up as quickly. And I cut back the yellow bell bush because it's being taken over by wisteria and other things that I didn't want. So now I have little baby shoots of yellow bells. I forget what the real name is. For something. And then here's my wisteria where the dogs are. But we're trying to get it to take over this sweet gum tree. And it has fairly well. But the shoots just go everywhere. I don't know. It's a good thing or bad thing having this here. It's a chore keeping it out of everywhere because it wants to grow everywhere. Our land is being eroded. We don't have enough soil and amendments to put back into it because we're in a valley, sort of speak. Our land is slopes. Water comes from down there, up there. And then keeps washing away the rest of it um, to the creek bed that's over there. Our poor property starting all over again because we didn't have much time the last five years to do anything. Anybody need any lilies? <laughs> I have too many lilies. They don't even bloom much because they're so crowded. And this was a garden once upon a time. And now, it's a field of wild whatever these things are. I've forgotten more than I know these days. I used to forage and know all kinds of things and Life happened and I don't remember it. Got a hickory tree that came from out west. We ended up with. It was only supposed to be planted there temporarily before my mother in law got her property. But I ended up with it. <laughs> and I do like it. It's pretty. Not exactly in a good spot. And the sassafras tree. That is not doing all that well. That was supposed to be there temporary as well. <laughs> Along with, I think that is Japanese honeysuckle all around it. That belonged to my father in law, so it's kind of sentimental having it there. He planted it before he passed away. He liked it, and it is very pretty. Just, we've kind of neglected it, so it's got the neglect look which most of our property does right now. <sighs> anyway, but it's still a beautiful place. And I tell you, I can't remember names of things. This is a hydrania. It's pink or blue, whichever the soil gives it. And all my little jonquils or whatever these things are, I can't remember either. But they're cute. 
I had daffodils and lilies and irises, all kinds of bulbs in here one time. Oh, the day after the storm, we fared well. Thankfully, the Lord was good to us. And it usually, it probably flooded. This part usually gets flooded. But then once the rain stops, it goes out back into the creek bed, which is over this way. This is an old black walnut tree, which used to produce pretty good, but we have not really taken advantage of the fruits of its labor. Although we did give it to a tanner for some dye. He wanted some, so we gave him a bunch. This has been a big pit and hole over here that we've been filling up with brush for years and it's still a bit. Trying to take, it's kind of getting overgrown again. We did bush hog it and keep it cleared in here. Boy, we've got a lot of everything in here. Those wild roses and honeysuckle and trees. These little may apples. We used to, kids called them umbrellas. And uh, they used to have fun with them. Their papa, when we first moved down here 20 something years ago when they were little, would pick it and carry it around like an umbrella and told them to. <laughs> so that's kind of a fun memory. And here's our creek. It's flowing, and I'm sure last night it was up to the banks a little more, but like I said, it drains off pretty quick. It's pretty in here until the snake season comes. I don't want to come back here after a while. In a couple months, they will be back here. <laughs> and there's the dogs. Good and bad. Here they are. At least they're keeping me company. I wonder if they'd kill a snake if it jumped out at me. Well, I guess snakes don't jump out at you. But you know what I mean. <sighs> I'm just having fun walking around after the storm. <sighs> it's chilled. The temperature has gone down. It is supposed to get down to 39 tonight. And not looking forward to that. Kind of put the heater back in my greenhouse. And yeah. Wish we could get rid of some of these sweet gum trees. They're pretty in the fall, but they're really kind of a pain. Their balls are everywhere and they grow really quick and kind of have got the bad reputation of being a junk tree now. And here's a tulip tree. And bloomed or not yet. I haven't even been out here. It usually blooms first, I think. I don't remember. I love the tulip tree. We've got black walnut trees all the way down the tree bed here and there. I love trees. My kids were in 4-H forestry. Two of them. The latter two and their teams went to nationals in Virginia and they didn't place in the top 10 but it was a great experience out of 15 to 20 teams all over America at each state they got to go so that was fun but anyway we used to learn all about trees I'm huffing and puffing aren't I I need some more exercise this is all along the creek bed. Fallen trees. And we have wild violets everywhere. They're really pretty, but they're evasive. They're kind of taken over everywhere. I didn't realize how evasive they were till I took some and put them in a the front yard and now they're everywhere in the front yard. <laughs> we got vines of all kinds in here. I'm not sure, great vines. Kids used to swing on some of these things. But we've got 
like the more trees. And maple trees. This is the prettiest part, is usually right back here. They come and have picnics out in this area. Stays pretty marshy. Grows moss, stuff under the trees. And for many years, this is where I threw my compost. And I still do. We gotta get better at composting. I'm just wasting opportunities from what I'm hearing from David the Good and other people. The back part of our property, we have a Probably another two acres back there in past used to be pasture land, but since our tractor broke, it is now overgrown. It's a shame, it was really pretty. We had horses out there at one time. Big overgrown pets, beautiful to watch, run and play. Every now and then we'll see the deer running through. Most of the time the deer come through at night. And they like to come and eat all of our garden. This is our future garden. Again, hopefully. I did plant a row of irises years back. All purple. I got a lot of weeds growing up in between them now. And right there where those posts are are some thornless blackberries that we're going to try to take better care of this year. The storm kind of took havoc on my poor iris. Yeah. Some of them are already done blooming too. I have yellow ones and white ones out front. Pretty flowers. We have a row of pine trees we did for a windbreak, but We've decided that we need to cut some of them down, the majority of them, because they're going to be shading the garden area. And, I don't know, it ticks kind of like that area, and we don't want ticks around the house. Especially since we have silly dogs now. Look at Duke out there. See him? Running around. But yeah, we have a lot of pretty trees out back. Mac to take you out back to his sanctuary, the pond and our shooting area. <laughs> it's really nice out there. But right up here is just a bunch of grown up stuff. And I did mow the other day, but I only mowed part of the area. I'm trying to put in stake markers. Show where our garden's gonna be. We gotta get our act together. We're just kind of slow these days. Got my plants. Gotta get some help to get them in the ground. The old barn is about to fall in. Yeah, it's had its days. We really need to tear it down and start over. I'm lusting after the tin on the roof because <laughs> I want to make beds out of it. <sighs> anyway, there's a pile of stuff. Those wire that we had up for um, row crops of uh, rattlesnake pole beans, which the people really love around here. I used to sell bushels and bushels and bushels of that stuff. They're easy to grow, they produce really well. Oh well, that was my tour, huffing and puffing along. I hope you didn't mind. Day after the storm, all is well. God bless. Southern Blessed Farms. Homestead, now. Hey everyone, this is Mac, Southern Blessed Homestead. I'm gonna, uh, Take you out back to the pasture, to the pond. It's my uh, my sanctuary 
from everyday stressful life. I like to go out there and enjoy nature and look at the frogs and turtles and stuff that's out there. So Patty mentioned in her video uh, earlier that uh, I like to go back there, out there. So she wanted me to take you out there and show you around. Okay, here's the back of the pasture. And a couple of years ago, this used to be beautiful, just green grass that looked like a golf course back here about three years ago. It was gorgeous. I kept it mowed, but my tractor broke on me. So I haven't mowed it in like three years. And this is what it looks like. I've got a guy uh, who's got a big tractor and a big um, bush hog. And he's going to come over here and cut all this down for me and hopefully I can get my tractor running this summer. I've got to get a new head for it, which is about $750. So uh, once I get that going, then I can keep up with it, but it's, it's terrible. Although I must say that the deer really like it back here. They, uh, they have really enjoyed um, hiding out in here but it's like a jungle. I've kept this path here cut with the lawnmower. I cut it regularly so that I can walk back here, but I still have to be careful with the walk because I've seen like snakes along the path. We got uh, cottonmouth water moccasins back here really bad. And uh, last year when I came out here in the spring, I guess they were mating or something because I killed like seven of them. I got a little single shot 22 and I was shooting them as fast as I could reload it and I killed seven in literally about 20 minutes. I've never seen that in the, the time we've lived here. It was crazy. It was fun, but it's kind of scary too because there are uh, snakes everywhere back here. Well, that's my little pond. Poor thing, it's all grown up. All these trees, I've been wanting to clean these trees out around it. I've got some pretty uh, cypress trees back there that I really like. And then some uh, some little ones coming up. Usually in the summertime, it, it, it gets really, really low. And I was going to dig those up and transplant them or give them away um, or whatever. But that's my little pond there. And that's the neighbors. His... Uh, He's got a bigger lake up there and uh, his drain pipe, as you see it in there, it drains out and goes in it's like a ditch there and then drains into my pond right there. But if there ain't no rain, it there ain't no water and it usually dries up almost. That's the deep end right there. And, but that end back in the back back there, it usually dries up. I need to dig it out with the backhoe. And there's my dog, Bo Duke. Hey, Bo Duke. Crazy dog. And back here is my shooting lane here where I like to shoot target practice. You can see the, the, um, the board back there I shoot at, way back there. And then that's my, my deer stand. I like to hunt. So, and my mom lives over to the right of that back there. Her property goes way, 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 way back there. She's got like, how many acres she got? 12? She's got 12 acres behind me. So, and there you go. Hopefully this summer I will proclaim um, my my pasture again. Claim it back. Reclaim it. <laughs> reclaim my pasture back. Oh, I hate this. It's been bugging me to death. I hate it because we used to have horses back here. And um, it used to be so pretty. It used to look pretty much like that. The whole place. There you go. Thanks for watching.